Jay Hernandez, founder of Pro Hoops, assistant coach, director of player development for the Charlotte Hornets. It's yours. I've been playing from a very, very young age. My father played 13 years professionally in Puerto Rico. So when I was born, he was hooping and uh, put a ball in my hand. So moving to Puerto Rico from Long Island, it was early stages of my, my childhood. So I was two and a half years old. We stayed there till I was about seven. And being a part of that basketball culture there, which is very rich, um, they had a lot of tremendous uh, NBA coaches. And people don't know that Phil Jackson got a start there in Puerto Rico. My dad was coached by Paul Westfall and P.J. Carlissimo. Coming back to Long Island, obviously there was, uh, there was a lot of basketball there. And as I got older, it was the ability to travel into the city and play against the best competition. And that's where I saw you know, my level of play uh, get noticed. We ended up losing in the state tournament to Elton Brand. That was the year that took off and, and got a couple of different Division I offers at that point in time. Ended up going to the University of New Hampshire for my first year before transferring over to Hofstra to play for Jay Wright. And I was there for four years and ended up having a great career there with my teammates and you know being able to play in two NCAA tournaments and postseason NIT and do some things there that hadn't been done in a long time at Hofstra. So it was, it was special being able to be back home at that point in time and doing that in front of friends and family. Jason Hernandez. So I was in college training kids and my father was actually the first trainer. And eventually that became, he couldn't make it and those kids wanted to get workouts in and I was hosting my own workouts with those same kids. And then eventually when I was finished, I was just doing it pretty much full time. When I finished my college career, I was also enrolled in the MBA program there. So I, got, I had a dual MBA in marketing and management that I was, I was working towards. And I was doing that Monday through Wednesday. And then Thursday through Sunday, I was playing in Puerto Rico professionally there. And uh, shortly after I was approached about potentially doing pharmaceutical sales. It was a Johnson & Johnson company and I did that for two years. So that whole time I was still training, but the training kept getting bigger and bigger for me and to the point where I was leaving work early to head to the gym and building that business up and it got to the point where my side hustle became what I want to do for a living. You know, that's when Pro Hoops was officially established in uh, 2004. Here we go. I was able to bring in assistance to work with younger players and we had camps like that set up and then from there became college guys and pro players that were working out in another clinic and so we were doing different things and teaching skills and different moves and movement patterns that weren't necessarily being taught in college programs or even high school programs at the time. It was very specific to this is how you're going to get your shot off and these are moves you could be working on. And it was just a new approach to it. It had its own terminology and that terminology was something that I felt could be replicated with other trainers that I brought in and other people I brought in. So I officially met Ross through one of our clinics that we had with the assistant coaches. He was over at Fordham University. When he came, he just loved what we were doing. We talked a bunch about if you're willing to make the move and he was uh, you know, young and energetic and ready to teach. And that's the biggest thing. You have to have people that want to be in the gym for hours on end and give that same energy from client one to client 10. And that's, that's what I knew Ross could bring to the table. You know, right away I saw Jay's talent, you know, his way to communicate with players. I liked the college coaching. I wasn't in love with it but I love hoop and I love training. And I was like, man, this is interesting. This guy's got a whole business going out here and he's in the game. He's dealing with high level players. Like he's getting guys better. But I loved his, his energy. It was infectious. Like when we got on the court, it was just, we just turned up and it was, it was a lot of fun. We came in the gym and you were part of pro hoops. You felt like you were part of a bigger family and everybody knew each other by name. We would all just go back and forth between these ball handling drills, shooting drills and pick each other's brains about like, what's the best way to attack some of these things. And that, that's really what was fun about that whole experience, especially in the early years, because it was just, we were developing together. Pro aspect of it took a long, long time. I was never really actively seeking pros. I just was more focused on developing each player and each person and making sure that as they grew, I knew that our business would grow as well. Fortunately for us, our first pro was Wally Zerbiak. He was a year older than me and for him to trust in us to help him with his development when he became a pro was was a really big first step for you know for our program and uh, we ended up doing a, a instructional video together and you know he definitely gave uh, some credit to helping him become an NBA all-star and then I ended up getting with Jameer Nelson that's one of the things that helped 
really start to develop a little bit more of the pro base that we had. Um, eventually, we started getting guys in uh, because they were developing in our program. College guys that were becoming pros. And those guys now in turn were starting to work with us during the pre-draft process. At the time it was Excel Sports was sending us a bunch of guys and those guys grew in the program and decided they wanted to keep training with us. And then you'd have the players that came through the program that were becoming pros and becoming pretty, pretty viable um, in their own right. And because I was doing camps and clinics and everything else in the summertime, we'd have pros that would come in the morning, come at lunch and right after, and then they'd be bumping into the kids and the kids would be coming out of their workouts and it just became very normal for kids to be walking by a Kemba Walker or Tobias Harris or <laughs> Wally Zerbiak and it was just this is who we are this is what we do here. One of my favorite stories is in regards to Wally. He just signed a big contract. I think it was like a 65 million dollar contract after becoming an all-star. He's coming back home and wants to work out and I said I'd love to, but I have a clinic. And he said, well, are you gonna be working on the different moves stuff? I said, I will, but it's a girls clinic. It's gonna be like middle school girls to do. And he's like, no, nah, I'm there. Like, as long as you're doing the moves, like, and all that stuff, I just wanna get a workout in. I wanna get shots up. Literally, he's waiting in a line with like 10 girls, all like, you know, from 4'11 to like 5'5. Five, five, and he's just waiting his turn to get his little rip step back in. It just showed like, it doesn't matter who else is in the gym. As long as you're in the gym getting better, that's what matters. And you know, that's, that's how we took it from then on out. It was like, we don't care what, who you think you are. Here, you're, you're one of us, you're, you're part of the program and you're gonna, you're gonna work just like everybody else, whether you're 10 years old or a pro. I never thought about coaching. I was always very, very much player development. This is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. We had it rolling. Uh, great people around me, great players, sponsorship deals, the whole thing. Two years before I got into the NBA, Jay Wright, who was my college coach, offered me a position at Villanova. At that point in time, I said, Coach, I can't make this decision. I have too many people that are relying on, on me in the business. And at that point in time, that's what started getting the wheels turning a little bit. I guess it was maybe a year or two later that Orlando reached out. And the reason why they reached out was because we had so many guys that were in the lottery that were training for Orlando. And Jacques Vaughn, who was the head coach at the time, had the vision of, we need to bring in somebody in here to work with these young, talented guys that is about player development. There weren't many guys at that time that had extensive experience doing player development outside of teams. He had a business and a program that he was running for a long time, so he actually had extensive experience. So then when, they, when you saw the players that he had to go along with the experience he had, it was a natural progression for him. Like, okay, I could do this for a year or two, I'll put that on my resume, and then go back to Pro Hoops and then have the NBA on my resume, build a lot more contacts, build my network. Once I got in, it became competitive for me. I was like, all right, uh, I want to learn as much as I can about this. And it was just another way. It was almost like getting my doctorate in basketball and learning how the NBA did things. Just a tremendous experience for me to, to get to that step and then you know eventually become an assistant coach and, and be somebody that, that could do multiple things, not just player development, which I came in to do. And I think that's that's been the fun part, is, is trying to see where I can take myself and you know add to the game. I don't think it's any coincidence that I've had my best seasons since I've been working with Ross and Tim. They're very flexible around my schedule. You know, there's an enthusiasm on a daily basis. Pounded. When I look at Pro Hoops, I, I just, I look at it with an immense amount of pride. I, I could see, you know, the level of care and attention to detail that's, that's still there. You know, I think one is it's given us a platform to grow. And I think Marcus, Jay, you know, anybody that's worked with us will tell you the same thing. It's like having an opportunity to really develop your skill, work on your craft, have a place in this whole basketball society's community. Just become who you are, like any teacher, any coach, any trainer, you're looking for a platform to be able to really master your craft. And Pro Hoops has given all of us that opportunity. When people come back from some of the pre-draft workouts or you know, some of the stuff that people like JJ Redick have said on record or other players have said on record, it's special because it's authentic, it's coming from the heart and nothing has changed in terms of what the, the root is, is, is making players better and within that process you're building relationships and eventually through the work ethic and some of the things that you're teaching hopefully you're improving them as people as well especially when they're younger. That to me is, is, is awesome to see you know, knowing that you know, I had a part in that and that it's, it's continuing to me that, that says the most about where it started, where, where it's going and, and where it's, you know, what those guys are doing with it.